so in my next lex uh, in my uh, last lecture of economy i discussed some topics how to approach this lecture is addre addressed to both the beginners and as well as the students who are going to appear pre this year then uh, the topic here i am going to discuss is inflation i already told you here you have to always question why and how the copying uh, the definition from uh, ramesh singh book or copy uh, of any definition from net is not sufficient uh, in a studying economy you have to you ha must have the capacity to understand the interplay of each term with market and uh, with market and government policies it is the requirement of economy and in this lecture i am going to give you uh, some points what to approach and how to approach in inflation right the th thing is that um, first you have to see when you uh, bring the after approaching the definition you have to see what are the causes of inflation in case of causes of inflation demand push inflation and cost push inflation you have to prepare a chart what is the factors uh, of demand push inflation and what is the factors of cost push inflation Uh, and writing the or uh, noting down the um, element is not enough you must have the capacity or you must have to understand why this particular um, cause is not demand push and why the particular cause is not cost push push right why, why this is this is not a factor of cost push inflation and why it is not a factor of demand push inflation you have to uh, you have to ask yourself this thing because in exam generally it is found that who is of the following is not a factor of demand push inflation right uh then after it you can there are different types of inflation like runaway inflation walking inflation creeping galloping uh, just try to decipher the meaning of each inflation then after it you see there are two types of inflation wholesale price index and uh, um, uh, wholesale price index and cost a wholesale price index and consumer price index these two terms are intricately related with inflation and now what is your duty in case of wholesale price index and cost cost um, consumer price index first you have to see the three terms who prepare means who prepared a wholesale price index what includes wholesale price index right means what are the uh, commodities who is are included in wholesale price index and what are the commodities who is are excluded from wholesale price index right it is your duty in what is the impact on relation with the market the whether wholesale price index is a suitable method uh, uh, suitable um, method to uh, determine the index of the uh, in, uh, in to determine the index of prices or inflation okay it is your duty to see means who prepared okay what it includes and what it excludes what is it impact uh, what is its impact or what is its relation with the market we have to consider these things in uh, in terms of both wholesale price index and consumer price index then after that another thing is that there are two um, terms annual average inflation and point to point point to point inflation these are the two terms in terms of which inflation uh, index is actually prepared all right then the main thing is that first we have to see inflation what are the factors of demand push inflation what are the factors of cost push inflation then after that we have to see uh, wholesale price index and consumer price index in case of wholesale price index and consumer price index we have to see who, who prepares whom what it includes and what it excludes what is its impact and what is the suitability of it each right then as an extended reading we can also see what is the base fare of each and how how many numbers of commodities are included under each uh, like wholesale price index and co consumer price index and you can also see on what frequency whether these indexes are published uh, published monthly or whether these indexes are published uh, weekly these are these things then after it you have to see what is core inflation and what is headline inflation right why it is core and wh what are the commodities what are the uh, commodities uh, yeah, core inflation generally includes and what are the commodities who who is core inflation generally excludes in that way, in case of headline inflation also you have to see what are the commodities who is it includes and what are the commodities who is it generally excludes right 
So what we have to see that I am again repeating in the inflation, the causes of inflation, demand push inflation and cost push inflation, wholesale price index and consumer price index. In case of demand push and cost push inflation, we have to very uh, strongly specify the reasons. Okay, why, what, uh, why it is demand push inflation? Why it is cost push? Then after that we have to see wholesale price index and consumer price index. Means we have to see the who prepare and what it includes and what it excludes. Then after that we have to see core inflation and co uh, um, headline inflation. The core inflation means what? Why it is called core? What are the commodities it includes and what it excludes? In that we have to see in under headline inflation what it what it includes and what it excludes. Right. Then after that I am going to give you some. Uh, terms regarding um, or inflation right the first thing is that boom economic boom right economic recession economic depression economic recovery fiscal stimulus subprime crisis these are directly or indirectly related to inflation because the uh, rising prices or decreasing prices actually values uh, um, uh, values uh, in uh, in occurring these terms okay in occurring this phenomenon okay behind the uh, um, uh, behind the existence of these terms there is a uh, role of in, um, inflation directly or indirectly that is why these terms are important then after that some another terms regarding uh, inflation are which you have to prepare deflation, disinflation, reflation, stagflation, recession, depression, and economic bubble. These are very important terms regarding inflation, and I already told you just knowing the definition is not important. You have to very minutely observe what is deflation and what is disinflation and what is reflation and who follows whom and why. Right. Uh, in that we have to minutely observe what is the difference between recession and depression. Right. It is our duty to prepare notes in this way. It is addressed to both beginners and who uh, who are already beginners generally. You cannot um, you cannot uh, study economy uh, regarding inflation without knowing these basics. Okay. You must have to prepare notes as a beginner on these topics. It is the basic. On extending this basic, on after it you can uh, relate current affairs notes on anything and the students who are going to appear pre this year they might have to they must have to revise these things uh, appropriately okay leaving this uh, their preparation is not uh, enough okay you must have to prepare these basics regarding inflation